Hi Scorpio and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, or Venus. However, if you're a newbie and you clicked on this Mother Teresa channel, welcome. I hope that you hear all that you need because you were definitely brought here for a reason. Um, and if you do enjoy yourself, definitely do subscribe before you leave, okay? Let's go ahead and jump right in. I am doing the What the Actual Fuck spread. Because, like, that's pretty much everybody's responses to life, right? If you're unfamiliar with what it looks like, feel free to Google the image, but I feel like it's self-explanatory as I go through the reading, okay? So, there we go. Now, as far as the signifying energy that came up for Scorpios uh, coming into the mid-month, what came up for you guys was the King of Cups. As far as the cruise that hounds you and what is potentially keeping you bound, you have the four of coins that came through. What is real about the situation you're experiencing, you have the king of swords. But what is wrong about the situation, you have the page of coins. Now, where you need more information, what came up was the eight of cups, your house. And then by the end of the month, what you can do, your final outcome card that came through, what came up was the Three of Wands energy. Bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess card. You already know what it is. This is the first time I've actually been able to get the High Priestess into a spread since I've been using the Fountain Tarot deck. So that is major to me and I'm just hoping that you seize the opportunity and you are really serious about what your intuition, your higher guidance and knowing is trying to tell you at this time, okay? It can never lie to you. You can definitely lie to yourself though by choosing not to listen, okay? And putting yourself through more physical pain than is necessary. But coming into the top with this King of Cups and this Four of Coins energy, I'm definitely getting a sense of um, you guys, I'm hearing rations. Why are you trying to ration or reason with your emotions here? You guys are very deep feeling individuals and it's not going to work to your benefit to deprive yourself of how you feel, right? You can't ignore your feelings here. You can't also just delegate small portions of who you are to people as like a tester to see if, okay, they do well with this one cup that I'm giving them. So here it is like a second cup or when they prove to do things that you wouldn't like or it, it doesn't come in the form that you would like for it to come in. You know what I'm saying? How they choose to express themselves right in a relationship if this is about a relationship because the number four does correspond to cancer's fourth house which is all about the home right and having structure and security okay a safe haven if it isn't even if it isn't like a physical place that you have um but just by way of how people just regard themselves and their own background and social conditioning, their own upbringing, you know what I'm saying, and what makes them different. So when they say something that you don't like or do something that you don't particularly like, because again, it's not in the form that you would want it to be in, then it's kind of like you shut off the, the supply. That's what I'm getting. You can't do that, Scorpio, because you're only going to have like haphazard or is haphazard the word that I'm really looking for? I guess I was trying to be nice, but like half-ass relationships, right? That's all that's ever going to come into your life. You shortchange people, they will shortchange you in return in some way, shape, form, or fashion, even if it's not um, on a personal romantic relationship level, just in business, you know, in just your platonic friendships. And when you go out and you're trying to just have a good time, somehow it gets ruined because somebody then does to you what you're doing so it's it's all or none that's what you guys have to learn um i also do feel like you guys do come off as secretive like you guys are hiding things um that should be shared 
if it's not like knowledge it's just about like again your life experiences and um hell maybe you can be hiding like your friends and family because it's like you you try to keep it separate because you're very you're very how do I want to say that you're very protective of the people that you love and you care about okay and so you you feel like it's okay if you have your partner over here and your family and your friends over here but how can they ever really get to meet if you always intend to keep them on both ends like on opposite sides that's what i'm getting at here and so when you do that you come across as being secretive as not being trustworthy here so i feel like you guys are really going to work on that this month as being a little bit more transparent tra transparent can i speak today so you're going to be working on that right you are complex individuals but you're going to kind of be shedding light on who you are and how you think and letting people in to your mind right a little bit more this month or somebody is allowing for that in this relationship or whatever interaction that you're having this month it can be with an air sign but with this cups energy and the high priestess more likely will be a water sign or somebody with heavy water placements cancer scorpio pisces right but this is kind of an individual that is very brilliant right but is somebody who you won't ever get to know until that trust is secured in the relationship and then you start to see them peel back like an onion right you're very layered very multifaceted here so that is what's coming up as far as what's real about the situation what's wrong about the situation there is some immaturity here somebody acting very childish Again, it can be with the whole sense of withholding emotion, intimacy type of thing here just because um, of a slight disagreement or because somebody just wants to have a little bit more personal space even. So then somebody takes it personally here with this page of coins. You have to be very careful with page energy. It's too fresh. So much still has to be cultivated here and it has to also be protected here. Um, so maybe some of you guys don't feel secure. Some of you guys maybe don't feel protected in a relationship, right? In business, if this is more about like resources, finances that are underway. But I'm also getting a sense that somebody, if not you, this can be another person or this can just be the energy that comes in again for the mid-month energy is fluid. It doesn't mean that you have to absorb it as well being a water sign. So just watch for that. But there can be issues of self-esteem that come up that are centered around childhood, something that you've had from like a like a childhood trauma is what I, I want to say here. What happened then? I don't want to say it has nothing to do with who you are now, but that's not the face of who you are. That's not all that you are. Again, you're multifaceted, right? With this King of Swords energy. It should have happened to make you stronger or eventually it becomes like a testimony that you can use to make you stronger, right? So that's what's coming up because what it where you need more information you have the eight of cups which is your house but it talks about loss death transformation in a sense betrayal so those types of feelings um potential abandonment as well that is coming up or just any form of neglect that you may have brought upon yourself here with this page of coins energy how you've neglected yourself and how that's kind of been mirrored out into the experiences that you've had thus far and it's causing you to want to ration out your emotions again right it, it always comes full circle but it's getting to the root of what the issue is but you have to um, want to do that and I feel like there is a little bit of resistance with that being that this is in the what is wrong position there's something that's not quite ready to be exposed so it's some type of news information that you have again a trauma that you've gone through or experienced um, 
and or this can be what somebody else again has and I don't want to say it against you but that is kind of coming up so maybe somebody has some information against you and it's some sort of blackmail like they're trying to keep you in a position where you have to uh, kind of bite your tongue just so that they don't use something against you I feel like you're going to be working through that but with this eight of cups energy again just focus on your health and your house and look at your eighth house it may not be in scorpio not everyone's is um or ruled by pluto right um but if this is in matters of the heart you don't need hand-me-down love okay you don't need sloppy seconds as well you you can't accept the bare minimum but again you also can't give it out so what you're asking of other people you have to be able to do for yourself as well and be able to provide for others as well so let's look at that coming into the mid-month for you guys and by the end of the month I just feel like everything that you've gone through it was a test and it was made to again make you stronger to teach you about tenacity to teach you about resilience right because this is giving me so much the show must go on tease it's not even it's not even funny here with this three of wands you're learning how to survive okay in the midst of and regardless of who is around you okay who is clapping for you you're clapping for yourself and you're doing for yourself and you're making do okay there's nothing like being able to prove and not necessarily to other people but to yourself that yes it is good to work with others but you don't need anybody else right you can do it yourself you can alchemize the life that you desire you can get the results that you desire in a relationship if you stay in this one or you find somebody else and so it's making sure that these people understand that you know not everybody is replaceable now let's also look at that with this page of coins energy but it's also understanding that what one person won't do for you, somebody else will. Okay? In due time. But in the meantime, you can get to the money. You can get to the bag. You can make other things. You can make do in the meantime here. The threes, it, the, the threes are all about... Um, encouraging energy though so even if you don't have these people around you you don't feel encouraged you don't feel supported the universe has your back you know and can show up and show out for you i feel like some of you guys are going to get something by the end of the month that you know you can only give praise to god for in helping you be able to achieve here right also we end on a three 2019 is reduced to a three so it talks about multiplicity it talks about the triad the heavens the earth the waters the mind the body the spirit being in alignment with all of them understanding each element for what it is and having an appreciation for each element for what it can do and how it can help you achieve right the mind the body and the spirit when you're in alignment just how much comes flooding or rushing into your life right here with this king of cups energy so fret not do listen and pay attention to your intuition though i feel like somebody's going to show you something um somebody may also come in that is more or less a witch very spiritual highly spiritual type of person okay that you can learn a lot from I feel like you're meeting this person maybe even in a dream state before you meet them in your physical 3D time space reality. Um, definitely some sense of foreshadowing here. Some things that are coming or just showing you again how to um, turn a nothing into something when they come into your life. As far as your chakras are concerned, your heart chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus, shoulder and your root chakra do get those into balance this month and just brace yourself for this joy ride that you are about to embark on okay so if this reading did resonate do give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family 
do subscribe for more and if you're interested in booking a private reading i'll leave my email here for you as well as in the description box at your discretion okay